All right, guys, so to begin this process, what you do is you put the liquid latex down on your hand and then you put a layer of tissue paper over it. And as you can see here, I just cut like a, the extra tissue paper around it. And then I just went ahead and put some more liquid latex over the first layer of tissue and then relayered it with tissue paper again, covered it with liquid latex and then covered it again with the tissue. And I did this process about five or six different times. And then you let it dry. And once it's all dry, you basically just lift it a little bit and cut it. Here, it, I already lifted it and I already cut into it. I'm just cutting off a little bit of um, the excess latex to make it seem a little bit more real and open. And then get a foundation the closest color that you can to your skin color. This was the closest color I had to her skin color. And then just go around all of it and blend it in really well. Like I said, this wasn't her exact match, but this was the closest match I had to hers. Just blend, blend, blend. And then I'm going to go in with the liquid latex on the inside and I'm just going to put it all around on the inside and then grab some cotton and just put it on top of the liquid latex as little or as much as you want. And then I just went in with this regular black NYX pencil and I just went like I lifted up the latex and I just went around the whole area. And then you're going to need some red body paint for the next step. So I just went in with the red body paint and covered the whole area with it. And then grab some eyeshadow. I grabbed like a dark maroon color and I just went over the whole red area to give it a little bit of a darker color. And I went around the whole area with it as well. And then I went in with some liquid blood, like some vampire blood. And I put it all on the inside and I just sponged it around the whole area. And then I just added a little more at the end, like around underneath the latex. And this is the finished look. Here I already outlined where I want it to be and I just went around it with some liquid latex around the whole area of where I outlined where I'm going to do the opening at. And I grabbed some tissue and I kind of rolled it, not rolled it, but folded it a few times and I put it at the bottom of um, her hand. And what I did, I don't show it here, but what I did, the same process that I did right here, I did it along the whole, her whole hand on both sides and the bottom of her hand. I didn't do it where the fingers are, but I did it on the sides of her hand and the bottom of her hand, like by her wrist. 
I just folded the tissue, put it on there just like that, and then I just covered it with the liquid latex and let it dry. And I did it along the whole side. See, as you can see, it's all done. And here I'm just going over it with some regular makeup setting powder on this part because I'm going to lift it. And I just lifted this part, just peeled it up. I had to cut it a little bit because I didn't want it to lift the that side of all the latex. I just wanted to lift this one part of it. And then, like you did in the last one, you're going to get some foundation, cover it. And at this point, I've already... Did the foundation and a little bit of eyeshadow around along all of it. I put some liquid latex in the middle of it and I just grabbed some Q-tips and I'm going to put it over the liquid latex to make it look like a little bit of her bones have popped out. And I kind of just aligned them basically where her real ones would be. And then I'm just going over the sides of it with a little bit of liquid latex so it can dry that way. And then I'm going to grab some cotton. I'm just going to throw it, you know, here and there. And I'm not going to spread this cotton out very much. I'm just going to grab some and I'm just going to put it on there. And then I'm going to go in with the red body paint. And just paint it. And then I put a little bit of more liquid latex on there and I'm going to grab some tissue and just put it, <coughs> excuse me, over the liquid latex just to give it a little bit more texture in there. And then I'm just going over it with um, some like dark maroonish brown eyeshadow just to give it a little bit of a darker look. And then the skin that's flapping over, I'm covering it with like a brownish um, eyeshadow. Now I'm adding the blood. And this is just regular vampire blood you can buy at Walmart. And then again, I'm going in with the dark eyeshadow. It's like a maroonish color. And I'm just going over some areas to make some areas a little bit more darker. And this is the finish look and then this look is just a regular face paint kids face paint I should say 
And at this point, I'm just going through and making these um, humps, I guess you can say, along the top of his forehead. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and connect them all. Going the opposite way. And then I'm just smoothing along the lines a little bit. And then I'm just grabbing some white, um, like, uh, pod paint and going over it, over the red a little bit and then covering his face with the white, the rest of his face with the white. And then I'm making just another, just like line from one eyebrow to the next and then I'm gonna go over it with the white pot paint again and then I'm going along the sides of his face to finish um, some of the dinosaur and then at this point I'm just covering the going over his whole face with the white pot paint as uh, again as you can see I covered his eyes and everything and then now I'm just making the horns <clears throat> and then now I'm just gonna outline the whole thing of everything that I've done with just this black <clears throat> eyeliner. And then I'm just making the nose, or it's basically supposed to be like a little horn on the nose. And then I'm just putting some dots on the forehead and on the sides of the face. <clears throat> and then the lines along the nose. And the dinosaur's nostrils. <clears throat> and then lastly, I'm going to do the mouth of the dinosaur or lip. And then outlining that. <clears throat> and then just these lines on the eyes. Alright you guys, thank you for watching. This is the finished look. I'm not a pro, but I tried my best and he wanted a dinosaur, so this is the finished look. Do you like it? Yeah, and subscribe and like and comment and so you, and hit that bell and subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget that we're still doing the gift card giveaway. Um, in the next few videos, we're going to be giving away another gift card. So, so don't forget to comment and let us know that you've liked all the videos, you've watched all the videos, and that you've subscribed and turned your bell button on. So don't forget to comment and let us know. Thank you for watching.